true. Triangles are similar. Triangle angle. Are two triangles similar <coughs> if two of their angles, corresponding angles, are, are equal? Yep. Uh, how do you know? Yes. Third angle with why would the third angle have to be congruent? How would it be congruent? Because in the triangle. Oh, right. That's good. Postulate 22. Postulate 22. That'd be good to be on the quiz tomorrow. Postulate 22. You're right. Angle, angle, similarity, postulate. Next week would be a good time for you to show me all your 3 by 5 cards. The two angles yeah. of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle. Then the two triangles are similar. Because that always goes into your long term memory if you just look at it versus writing it down. That is true. <laughs> writing down your notes and writing it on a 3 by 5 card and then memorizing it for the quiz, that probably would put it into your long term memory. I doubt that even helps, to be honest. It doesn't help you. A, B, C. Y, X, 25. F, B, What goes where? How do you know? Let you fix drawing. Anybody? X. X is a 25, is 18 is a 15? Sure. Okay, so remember that. Anybody lost? Okay. Okay, so corresponding pieces, that's pretty basic uh, example. Example 10. Uh, let's see here. Are these two similar? M. And this is 45 degrees. This is point Y. This is X, Z. And this is 45 degrees. Are they similar? And I want to know how. How do you know they're similar? Um, because those, well, it's the angle angle similarity. 
But I only have one angle up there, don't I? It's vertical. Oh, your second angle is the vertical angle. So yes, vertical angles, and then you have angle angle similarity postulate. Okay, so then you say triangle M and Y is similar to triangle X, Z, Y. So you gotta get the similarity statement. All right, and the last example that you need graph these. Point A is at 0, 0. B is at 0, 3. C is at 4, 0. Uh, D is at 0, 7. And E is at X, Y. What does E have to be to make triangle ABC similar to triangle ADE? So you can copy that down and graph it. I'll graph it as well. think you're going to be able to count and guess it correctly, you are wrong. I specifically picked this problem, so you have to do some math. But you can tell me how to solve it without solving. So what would you do, or what do you think you might need to do to find out where this is going to hit the x-axis? Let's start with the slope of BC. Slope of BC is what? How do you get that so fast? Rise over run. Rise over run. Rise over run. You guys are all sitting there like, slow? BC, what does that have to do with EF, or DE, excuse me? You gotta be the same slope, great, that's true. That is true. Why do they have to be the same slope? Just kind of curious. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know why they have to, I don't know the answer to that, but I have like a suggestion of how to solve it. Okay, just a second. I want to know why they have to be the same slope. And what is it about similar triangles that you have to have? Congruent angles. If this isn't, if this is dropped down to like here, then there's only one congruent angle. So if this is parallel to this one by transversals, then the corresponding pieces are congruent. That's why it has to be a parallel line. Okay, now, what do you think we need to do to, to figure it out? Oh, well, I, I thought I knew something. I don't think it's right, so <laughs> never mind. All right. <laughs> I thought I knew something, but I don't. Okay. You have to write a proportion for the slope, um, so it'll be negative. Oh yeah, it was it was kind of like that. 
given given the point and the slope, can you come up with the equation of a line and then find the intercepts? How do we get the equation of a line? What did you get for your answer, by the way? So you would say you go down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and over eight. Uh, or wait, did I count wrong? Oh, it should be seven. Or over. Uh, Everybody, find B for me. You have a point that's on the line. What is D? The y-intercept. Really? <laughs> Do we need to go back to pre-algebra? Seven. How do I find the x-intercept? Well, I zero in for y, please, and tell me what x is. Do something with that brain. Plug zero in for y, and tell me what x is. And you'll see that that was right. Unless you did the miscalculation. Yeah. I will call on somebody to give me the answer. Reagan. Who said that? Said what? Considering you're not doing anything back there, I would keep your mouth shut. Say what? Wake up. All these are odds. 